order to make any application for Macintosh. You go to your uh, App Store right here, and everybody knows where App Store is. And in App Store, you simply click, uh, type Xcode, and the minute you do that, you will see the first thing on top left, it says Xcode, download. This one it says update because I have a version here already. But yours, the first time you go, it says download. And of course, you know, the, you have to have an iTunes uh, account. Any kind of Apple account will do. So if it asks you for users' uh, information, just type in your iTunes account, type in your app account, it doesn't matter. And download Xcode, and the Xcode is right there. Well, and then there's a bunch of other applications here. They will teach you how to do Xcode. I think that uh, the second one, learn to code, uh, it's okay. This one, learn Swift, is very good, it's excellent. Learn Swift for Xcode, it's very good. This will be like two months from now, three months from now. You won't need these things at all. The only thing you need is that, Xcode. So you download Xcode. I'm not going to download Xcode because here you click here and you said download, and then it says open. You open it. That's it. It may ask you not may. It will ask you for your passport on your Mac. It will ask you for your own passport. Nobody else's passport. Then it will install it for you. Okay. So once you do that, I usually, if I'm a Mac user, I usually put all my applications down here. So this is very simple because you go to your hard drive and you look at the application, you find the application and you just drag the icon into the taskbar. That's it. So you always have uh, access to whatever applications you have. So Xcode is here already, but if I go to my hard disk and if I open applications, you will see Xcode for sure. Do you see it right there? And in order for it to be on the taskbar, just click and drag down here, that's it. And it will always be there, so shortcut, so you don't have to uh, uh, do anything else. So it's, it's always on your hard, 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 point, hard, hard uh, drive. So we open it up. That's the first thing you do. The first thing you do, we open the Xcode that will enable you to m m write any kind of application iPhone, iPad, Macintosh, iWatch, whatever I, 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 you can do it with Xcode, okay? And you'll see that in a minute. So this is the first screen you will see. As soon as you, everybody, is used. so far there's absolutely no problem. This is what you're gonna see. It's gonna say, get it started with Playground. I will explain what Playground is, but we're not going to. Playground is where you write codes to see how they function. That's not what we want to do right now. We don't want to practice our programming language. The second thing that it says, it says create a new project, Xcode project, okay? The third thing is clone an existing, it simply means uh, copy an existing project. So what do you think I want to do right now? I want to make a project, right? So which one should I click on? Create. Create, that's it. That's all there is to it, create. Next thing you will see, it's really initially confusing, and rightfully so. It gives you Cocoa Touch, it gives you this and that. You don't need to have any of this knowledge right now. None of it. <coughs> but Cocoa Touch actually way underneath iPhone, that's Cocoa Touch. It's a programming at the uh, computer level. But the only thing we want right now is a single view application means I'm going to make an app that only has one page. If I want to make tabs, if I, whatever else you want to make, you just tab the application. For example, if I show you the iPhone, like for example, this iPhone, when you look at your iPhone or, or anything else, when, when you first look at your iPhone, you see a lot of tabs at the bottom, right? You see a bunch of tabs at the bottom, right? That's tab application. So it's not a big deal to make that. So you select that one. If you want to have page base, you select that one. Page base means it goes page after page after page. And then if you want to create games, it'd be at least six months before you get to that point, but you can make games. 
and then augmented reality, <coughs> six months from now. Master detail is good, but all of these are doable. But right now, we only want to make single view, because after I make a single view, I can make it in 50 views later, myself. So I just select single view. The next part is very straightforward, but initially it's very confusing. Why don't I just call this one EDUI? Okay, the name of it is EDUI, the program. Then it will ask you for your affiliation. If you have registered for iTunes or whatever, it will be right there. I have three of them. So I'm gonna select California State University Educational Technology. The next one says, what is the name of your company? I wanna call, call my company Bijan. Well, you can call it whatever you want. Call it Rachel, if you want. This part here is kinda of confusing, so let me explain what that is. Usually, when you use a when you use a browser, you type, for example, Google.com, right? Then you go there. This is called reverse URL, and I will tell you, I will explain why it's called reverse URL. Instead of the .com coming at, at the end, com c o m comes at the end. Say com dot bijan, com dot james com.veronica, anything you want. The reason for this is that it becomes unique identifier for your company. Nobody else has that. I mean, hardly anybody would say, okay, com.bijangilani. I mean, it's, chances of that happening is a very, but if they relate this to App Store for you later on. So for, just call it reverse URL. The, what it means, it means just reverse the URL. Say com dot Bijan, com dot uh, Jeffrey. Anything you want, as long as you want. The next thing it says, bundle identifier. That's just automatic. That's an identifier to app a company, to Apple. Okay, it automatically selects that. The next one is kind of important. That's why I said do not buy the book that is on Amazon. It gives you a choice of programming in Objective-C, which is updated, and that's what my book four or five years ago was written in Objective-C, because there was no Swift. Swift was just created as a programming language for Apple uh, two years ago. So right now, I'd like to use like Swift. It's a very simple language, you, you really will see. It's a very simple language. As long as we understand the concept. Okay, so I gave all the information I need. Do you have any problems with this information? No. Just name it, give a name for your company, reverse URL, make sure you choose Swift as a language. Objective-C is outdated. It won't even work anymore. And then you click Next. What I usually do, I create a folder on my desktop and I put all my apps in one folder, okay? You can put it any place you want, as long as you know where it is. I'm going to put it in this particular one, called Food Chain. And then I will open it. Here is, you're gonna see some errors already. See, this is why I stopped. See, these are errors. And by the time I explain what these errors are, class is gonna be finished for this. But these errors are not critical right now, for us. Because you don't have an account, you don't, you're not a developer, you haven't paid your $99. And the reason why it's giving me the errors is because I chose a tech program. A tech doesn't really have an account. It's just free, okay? So this is why I, the minute I saw the reds, I said, <coughs> no, 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 hold on, I don't wanna do that because it turns people off. But one thing that is really important is this. This is your area, this rectangle, uh, square, is the area where you make things. Okay, this is the area that you're gonna be working. It's called Main Story Road. It's just where you make your storyboard. How your app functions, how does it go, where does it go? And then, this area is all your documents. Like for example, you have several documents right now. None of them are important at this point for you, none of them. They will become important in a minute, but none of them. 
the only one that's important is the main storyboard. Do you all see that? Main storyboard, okay? So this is all your documents, your programming, your uh, images, your sound, your uh, animations, everything goes right here as we add to it. This part becomes even more confusing because the minute you choose something, the menu changes. And you will see that in a minute. But this is basically your library, information about text, information about different things that you're going to see in a minute. So there's that fourth area, which is down here, which I closed it because at this point it's irrelevant. It's debugger for when you are doing application, it debugs for you. So we're not gonna do that much. So having said that, the new Xcode, then if you download the new version one, this library assumption is no longer here. There's a button up there, way up there. Let me go with my mouse so you can see. There's a round button way up here, right here, where my area is. When you click that, then you see the library. Okay, so for this application, because it's not updated, the library is right here. Okay, so all, all is well so far, right? There's no confusion so far, right? We have three areas, right? One area is the middle, is where I work, do my work, right? The second area on the left is where I have all my, all my files, do files documents, resources, audio, video, whatever else. There's a lot of other things there, but we don't want to know. This other here is the attribute, and I, I never pronounced the word attribute correctly, attribute inspector. Uh, native speakers, how do you say attribute? Attribute. Right, I always make it an adjective rather than a noun. Okay, but you understand that. There's a little bit of uh, click on my accent here. That is called attribute or attribute uh, inspector. So you will see all of that in so my question is this, if I want to make an app, where do I start? I have the middle area to work in, the left side is all my document, the right side is all my inspectors. Where should I work? Which area, middle one, left one, or right one? Middle one. That's where we make things, right? What did I say we call this uh, area as soon as so I said the only thing you need to know at this point is main story. main story. That's where you make your stories, okay? So if I click on main story, if I click on main story right here, you will see it's blank, it's blank. Now, I'm gonna close this window because it's taking up room for me right now. I don't wanna even explain that at this point. I just don't want to explain that at this point. Second thing is, Am I going to make an application for iPhone, which this is iPhone, or iPad, or iWatch, or whatever I need? I want to make an application for I iPad, actually, iPad. So I'll go here, this part is, you, I'm sure you won't remember, but I will choose iPad, maybe iPad Pro 10 inches, you don't have to. But notice that it enlarges. Did you see that? It gives you an enlarged part. And it's very large now because this iPad is large. That's why I say you need a big computer. But because it's so large, I'm going to make the percentage smaller and smaller and smaller so I can see it, it's right here. And if I make it a little bigger so you guys can see it, it's right here. This is the, your storybook. This is where you work. This is where you work. And it just so happens that I have chosen iPad 9.5. It could be 12 point inches. It could be I, uh, iPhone whatever, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, or whatever. You choose the device right there. Uh, since we want to make an iPad, I chose iPad. Whatever I choose here, uh, yeah, I'm going to say that right now. Whatever I choose here, I go up here, and I would choose the same thing. And I will tell you why in a minute. I don't want to explain that right now, okay? But just take it that you should choose the same thing. Okay, so this is my uh, storyboard. How many views do I have right now? Just one, right? And when you look at any iPhone or iPad, 
This is your view right here. This is your view. That's it. This is the same thing as this. Okay? Or if you have an iPad, it's just that. Whatever we make here, you're going to see here, which we are not going to do. Well, I'm going to show you some place else to see it, because I don't, I don't want you to say you have to have an iPhone to do this. No, you don't have to. Okay. So I have my uh, storyboard right here, and I said I'm going to make only one page, right? One page only. What is it that I want to make? What I want to make is this. I hope I have it here. Let me see for a second. Uh, I think I have it here. What I want to make is this. That's fine. So what I want to make is this. I would like to make a one story page that let me enlarge this so that everybody can see. Okay. So this is very large. I'm going to make it smaller. So we want to make a food application, a chain food. So if I click on sun, it will say sun is the source of all energies. Right? And if I click on flowers, the sun will shine on flowers and it will produce seeds and it will appear right here. And then a bee well, the bees will eat the uh, seeds from the sun and pollinate in another tree, and it will appear right here. And the frog will eat the bees to grow, and the minute I click on frog, the formation of a frog comes right here. And up we go, cycle of life, and then everything dies, goes to earth, becomes fertilizer, and the fertilizer comes back right here again. So this is what I want to make, right? Is it very clear what you want to make? Okay. So let me go to the original one that we were working on, so because I don't want it to cheat. Okay, so here I have my main storyboard, which is empty. So as you notice, I have an I have an image, right? Image of the bees and the flowers and the seas, all of those. I also had an area for text. I also had an area for buttons. Okay? First of all, I need to have, every time you have to have an image on your face, interface of iPhone, you have to have an image view. You can only put images in image view. So let me show you that, because this is where it starts getting a little bit funny. This is your library. You have different kinds of libraries. You have coding library, you have snippet libraries, this is your multimedia libraries, and so on. In here, the one that you're interested in right now is the presentation. Forget about whether you understand view controller or not. What I'm looking for right now is image view. So I, try, I can't find it because I don't have time to look for it. So I'm just going to type image view. There it goes, right there. And then I will drag the image view right in the middle of my storyboard, just like that. And you can enlarge it if you want, which I think you should. Okay, so my, my picture is gonna go in here. What else do I need? I also need buttons. I need nine, 10 buttons. But I'm just gonna bring one button, just one. But you type in button, and in the library it gives you the button, you take the button, you drag it into your image uh, storyboard. Here's your button. And I make it a little bigger so you can actually see it. And because it's so little, I'm going to make the uh, typing a little bigger. This is the button. Right there. Any color you want, it doesn't matter. And I also need either text, text view, something that I can write in. But I'm just going to take a label. Label. Label is the same thing as text, text view, everything. In fact, let me, let me put this here. This is my text. 
This is where, where information is going to appear, okay? And I can make it bigger so you can see it actually. This is your label. What if I just want text view? So I just type in text, and there's my text. I can put it in here if I want to. There's the text. But that's not what I want. I can have a text view where I can actually scroll down, up and down when I run it. But that's not what I want either. So I'm gonna eliminate that. So, so far, I've made a button, and I've made a label, and I have my image view. But I don't even have an image. So this is the first thing you need to do. You need to have an image that is, uh, sorry about that. You need to have an image uh, that is ping. And I have one right here, ping one. And I have another one right here, ping. So what I'd like to do is to take my image view, the one, not that one. This was the one that I showed you what it's gonna do. This one that you're just working on it, I'm gonna drag it a little bit to the right. And very simply, the simplest way to bring images is to click on the one that you want. Usually you have to create your own folder, call it images, sounds, movies, whatever you want, put it in the document area. But I, we, don't have, we don't have that many images. We only have one image right now. So I'm just gonna click and drag it into the document area. Do you see that where I put it? I put it in the document area. It will ask me, do I want to copy it or not? Yes, I want to copy it because I want, no matter where, uh, at this point, it's easier to copy. Don't keep it at the source because that makes it li life a lot more complicated. Then you have to type the URL for it. So do you see said the destination? Copy item if needed. Yes, I want to copy and then finish. Look at what happened. I have an image here. I have an image. Now, it's not image by itself doesn't work. I have to put it in the image view. So I go to image view, okay? This part is gonna be a little tricky. I don't think uh, most of us are gonna remember. When you highlight image view, the inspector changes up there. Because before that, it was not image. Let me show you wh wh what I mean. If I click on button, do you see that the inspectors will change? Because every item, every element on your view has its own inspector. I want an inspector for the image view. If you go to the very top, you all of a sudden see the name food chain, which was the image that I just imported. Remember that? Everybody remembers that? Okay. So choose food chain, and it's right there. Maybe I want to make it a little larger because it's too small. To be honest with you, that's it. You just made an app. I'm gonna run it. Look at this. It's not gonna function, but it's running. It's way too big. It's, this is an iPad. It's a simulator for iPad. Whatever you see on iPad, you will see it here. It's exactly as if I imported that to your iPad. Of course, you cannot import it to your iPad and sell it. You have to give it to Apple to, to approve, and then sell it. But here, we, it has simulator. Do you see that it says simulator? And there's my button, there's my label, there's my image. Let me make it a little smaller because uh, that, that was a little bit too, too, too big. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me run it one more time. Let me see where I can make it smaller. Because that was too big. But, Frankly, we just made an app, that's it. From this point, it's just we have to learn more and more and more. But this is the fundamentals of making an app. Whether it's for iPhone, iPad, I whatever. Whatever you want, this is it. Let me see if I can make this smaller. Uh, minimize, no, I won't do that. Anyway, you, you, also, you all get the picture, right? This is a simulator. It simulates exactly what your iPad is gonna do later on. It simulates exactly what your iPhone is gonna do later on. But right now, even though it's an app, I can send it to App Store to be sold, but do you think App Store is gonna buy it from you? <laughs> no. Because if that was the case, they would get seven billion people sending their apps to iPhone. So 
but frankly, this is it. I can send it to I, uh, Apple store, I mean, co the company Apple. They will look at it, but they're gonna send me an email and say, sorry guy, this is not very good, but we can sell this. Because remember, you can only sell your apps through Apple. You cannot sell it directly. What if they refuse? What if? What if? They have to approve it. Unless you just want to show it to your friend, that's it. You can show it, put it on your iPhone. I have at least 10 of it on my iPhone, I can show it to my friends, but that's it. If you want to distribute your app, App Store has to give you approval. And then they will advertise it for you. They will take 25% from the top, and whatever you sell, 75% is you. So if this was an app, that our Apple Store would have accepted. If I sell one million of them, which is not that difficult nowadays, I would make $750,000. Apple Store will make $250,000. But obviously, Apple is gonna say, okay, it looks nice, but what does it do? Okay, so we wanna make it do something. Okay, is everybody happy so far? The way I'm explaining everybody? Okay, I just wanna give you a little, uh, introduction so that you see it's not a big deal to make an app. It becomes more and more difficult as you go on. I mean that candies uh, app, those, they, they took a lot of codings. Now, the confusion for the next step is how do I make this interactive? You have two sources for codes. One is called App Delegate Swift and it's all written for you you don't need to write anything here at the moment. Later you will, but right now you don't need anything here. But remember, that's where you write some of your apps, uh, programming language. The second one, which is more for our concern, is called View Controller Swift. It's this one. Again, some of the information is written for you. For example, who made this app? Vijay Gilani. What date was it? It was uh, March 3rd, whatever. I don't remember. And it will give you a very simple area where you can do some coding. And I'm gonna give you an easy way to code right now. I'm not gonna code, but I'm gonna show you an easy way to do it. And the easy way that I'm gonna show you is the way that professionals do it, actually. Okay, so it really is the same, but I'm gonna take the easy way out. So what I really need is this. I need my main story, and I need my, uh, the, where I write the, the Swift application programming right next to each other because I want to see what I'm doing, okay? So all this space right now is not necessary. I'm going to uh, clear this a little bit out. Clear the left side so I have more space. And do you see these two circles here on top? That's where you can have your main storyboard and your page for programming right next to each other. So whatever you write programs in this one, it will show on the other one. So I'm going to click on that, those two circles, and you will see that there is my main storyboard, and there's also my programming area. This is where uh, people start writing the initial program. I would like to do it in a way that I'm not explaining too much, but I'm gonna explain just a little bit because without the explanation, this would be useless. What is that? There are two things in Swift application. One is called IB outlet. The other one is called IB action. Okay, so what's an IB outlet and what's an IB action? If you read the chapter two in my book, I explain in 25 pages what they are. But basically, IB outlet is where you declare something. For example, I say, Rachel, close the door. But Rachel is not gonna close the door right now. I just declare that as a variable. So I, I say, Rachel equals close the door. Okay, that's declaration. But somehow I have to implement that declaration. So this first one is called IP outlet. The second one is called IP action. Well, of course, by now you figure out that IP action is what? It will 
take action on who? On the IB outlet, right? Is everybody clear on these two? IB action, IB outlet. And you'll see that very clearly in a minute. A label is always an IV outlet. You declare things in the label. Other things like buttons and music and everything else, they're all IV actions. So I want to show to my coding that I have a label here, and I want to give it a name. So the, way, the easiest way to do it, which I think is uh, clearly written in my book, you have to press control, click, click, control on your thing, and click on this, and bring that arrow right after view control, right here, and let go of everything. You get a dialog box. First of all, you see, what is it? Is this an IB action or IB outlet? Outlet, very good. It's on the control viewer. The control viewer was the whole page. There's the storyboard. I'm gonna call this info. Info. At this point, it's important how you type this, whether it's up uppercase, lowercase, whatever it is, you better remember it, because it's a variable. Info becomes a variable, just like in your algebra. You used to say x equals to five. X is a variable. It could be 10, it could be 20, right? So I, the, I'm gonna call it info, it's a, it's a variable, and it's, it, what kind of variable? It's a label variable. So it's an IB outlet. And I want it to be very strong at this point because I don't wanna make many mistakes. And if you take the whole course, then I explain what weak and strongs are. And say connect. Notice what happens, it immediately writes the code for you. There we go, right there. It wrote this line for you. IB outlet, the variable's name is info, and it is a UI label. Is everybody clear what that is? That's the declaration of the name for the label, because it's gonna become interactive. Whenever I wanna put more information in, I have to remember, I call it info, info, right? The button is always, always, of course, there's a lot of other things. Button is always an IB action. So I do the same thing. I click on, on button, and then I press control, and drag it way down here. Why do I wanna do that? I think it's beyond the, this class right now. But you wanna drag it way down there and let go. It says IB outlet. No, I don't want an IB outlet. I want an IB action. It says give it a name. I'm gonna call it sun. It's lowercase, S-U-N. It doesn't have to be lowercase. And I want it to be any type. It can be button, it can be, but right now any type is better for me because I don't have to deal with it. So when users come, do I want to, them to touch on it, touch around it, touch below it, touch over it, touch where? I want them to touch on it. So I say touch upon inside. And notice that here, I don't have any coding right now. I don't have any coding right here. Okay, the minute I say connect, if you write the code for me, right there. Between the two brackets is where I have to manually write codes now. It did everything for me except what I wanted to do. Uh, what do I want it to do? I want it, when I click on the button, I want it to get some information from info and put it in a label, that's it. Is that clear what the function is? When you click on the button, gets the information from the label, puts it in the label. Clear? Okay, great. So between the two curly cues, and don't laugh at me, curly cue is a technical term, between this bracket and this bracket, this is where I have to write my code. And I'm going to write uh, something like uh, info. You all remember what info was, right? dot text, because the information just has text right now, nothing else, space equals to another space, quotation mark, the sun, sun, the sun is the source of all living things, whatever I want. 
if I'm mistyping it, pardon me. But you have to have quotation marks, and it, and it becomes red. If once you put in a quotation mark, it becomes red, and it's just text. And I just wrote the code. So two things are important. First of all, I declared the variable called info, and I made a button. What does the button do? It will take the variable info, and it will put whatever I put in the quotation marks in there. Right? And I'm done with coding. And then I'm going to run this. If there are any make mistakes, it will tell you right now, you made a mistake. Okay? Thank God I haven't made any mistakes. It is the most frustrating thing. That's why I decided just to show it to you, not to do it. Because you keep getting yellow ones and red ones, yellow ones. And so right now, would somebody tell me, what would happen if I click on this button? You get the information about the sun in where? In the label. Okay, there we go. Now I'm not done yet, hold on. So you see the, uh, the, what the difference is between IV action and IV outlet? Okay, do you declare, then you implement. Okay, so let me quit the iPad right now. I don't want that. So what I want to do, I want to put this button on top of the sun and make it larger so it covers the entire sun. And then I also want to get rid of the word button. So I go here, you see where it says button? I just delete that. Or you can highlight it and delete it. Doesn't matter which way you are. Now the button becomes invisible. There is no button, but it is on top of the sun. And my label, I can put this label anywhere I want. But I think I'm gonna make it part of the program right here. And make it a little bit larger so more information can get to it. <coughs> Labels always have one line. But if you click on it, if you click on the label, and if you go to the inspectors, first of all, get rid of the word label because you don't want that anymore. And make it bigger so that people can actually see. Make the color green. No, I want to make the color red. Red. Okay, color red. And then, uh, I want to make sure that this label will type in up to 10 lines for me. Whatever it is, up to 10 lines. And then run it again. And this, uh, this one, please re remember, this is the inspector. I can do whatever I want to do here, just, by, just click it. So I'm going to run this in an iPad uh, simulator, which is exactly the same thing as an iPad. A real iPad is exactly the same. I, I'm very lucky because I don't see any errors. I'm very thankful so far. No errors. I wrote my program. I made it interactive. Now I can really sell it to Apple. Mm -hmm. Apple will actually look at it this time. Because now, if I have, see there's nothing here, but it's a food chain, right? If I click on the sun, what's going to happen? The information says, the sun is the source, but I probably, uh, it's the rest of it is in there, so let me go back again. So I'm going to change this to 10. Make sure this is 10, because one line is not. Okay, run it again. Because it's supposed to wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap to all the way down. Oh, I wanted to wrap, I didn't say wrap, so okay, I forgot. That's fine. Okay, click on the sun, and I get sun is the source of all living things, right? And this is a real app now. It's becoming a real, because I did the coding, I did the storyboard, I did everything. This I can send, but again, Apple is going to say, oh, okay, thank you. You know, really, they may take it for you as for free, you know, and that would be an honor. It really would be an honor if they take it from you. Because right now, there are millions of people all over the world are doing this, and they're not getting anything. Now, in order for me to conclude, what do you think I should do if I want the flower ha having some information? 
do what? Add another 500. Very good answer, 50% right. Just add one more button. The label is just gonna replace it, replace it, replace it, okay? So I just need one more button. Do I need to go to my library? Yeah, if you want to go to the library and type in a button and get a but I already have a button here. I can copy it. But to be, uh, you know, real, I'm going to uh, type in button so you can see in the uh, library for the month, for the different things. Type in button, it gives you different kinds of buttons. See, it gives you buttons for the tabs and spacer and everything. But I want a regular button. I bring it right here. I put it on top of the flower. I make it a little larger. Oops. So this is where a lot of people will make a mistake, such as I did, right? Uh, it's very small, so I want to make it larger. And the reason why it's not allowing me, it's very simple. It's not that simple, actually. The reason why it's not allowing me is because now I have to go to the view control. Do you see what happened? The info, the button, image this image. button should be on top of the image. Who said that? Very good. See, it's below everything. It's below my thing. It has to be up here, but it's not going up here. But do you see that this button, now I can actually click on it. Because in the view controller, once we get into a real course, I will explain all of that. It has to be a higher hierarchy of things. Right now, it wasn't a hierarchy. So I don't need this anymore. I'll go back to my view controller. And here I can actually click on it. Uh, well, let's just do it some other way. So I won't waste anybody's time. The view controller is, this is where I have the new button. This one here. In fact, I'm going to take it and uh, do this a little bit. Stay right there. This button here is giving me problems. Now I can actually click on it and enlarge. Do you see that? Because of the hierarchy. And I'm going to do it such a way that everything is covered on the flower, okay? Okay, that, that's, that just was a little technicality that uh, I should have thought about later. But this is how you make the hierarchy of what is on top of what. Now here, you're gonna help me now. You're gonna have to help me now because I don't know how to do this now. now I would like to write a code for my button so that it says, when the sun shines on the flowers, flowers will grow so the bees can eat it. What should I do now? You all know that this right now. What do I need? I need a button, right? Do I need a new label? No, I already have a label. What was the name of the label? Info, right? Okay. So the only, where, the only place I, I have to write my uh, uh, code is, is for the button, okay? All right, so I click on my button, right? I will wait. I will click on my button. Is it an IB outlet or IB action? IB action, who said that? Very good, IB action. So should it go at the beginning or should it go right here? At the bottom, very good, because all the actions should go at the bottom. And right now we don't know why, but if you take the course, I will tell you why. Do I put it between the brackets that was here before? No, because that's a different coding. Of course I can have code within codes, but for this moment I don't want that. So I click on, please don't forget, click, press control. This is the easiest way. Bring it right before the very last bracket what do I want to, uh, first of all, is it an action? action. Yes. What do I want to call it? Flower. Flower. Anything you want, as long as you remember. Should we capitalize? Yep. Uh, yes, we can, as long as you remember. Flower, and I want it to be touched. I want it to be a sender again, uh, which means it sends information to ID outlet. And there, there we go. We have our second coding. But this time, remember the name of your, text was, the name of your label was what? Info, right? So I'm gonna type the same thing. Info.
people dot text because the one of the attributes of info uh, label is text, not color at the moment, just text. <coughs> okay, and remember I said equals to equals to quotation marks. You have to have quotation marks. Okay, I can say the sun shines on flowers and grows flowers. Fantastic. Very good. Mm. All right. That's my second coding. And run. Thank God there are no errors. I don't see any red line. Whenever I see a red line, my heart starts going bap, 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 because it's really hard to find what the, uh, what the problem is. But if you always do it the right way, you'll never get an error. So your se my simulator is actually down here. It is here, I know where it is. But here it comes, and if I click on the flower now, this is the flower. Unfortunately, the window is too, too large. It used to allow me to go to size uh, but they have changed it probably. But anyway, if I click on the flower, well, I'm gonna have to make it smaller because I can't see the flower. Okay, so let's make it small. Let's select everything um, here. Select all. I'm going to run it now so I can see the flower. Mm -hmm. There is a place that I can uh, say what percentage I want my simulator to be, but it, they have changed it. I have to go, I have to look it up, but uh, we don't have time. So the simulator is running right now, it's building everything, it's doing a thousand things behind the scene, and then it, there it goes. There is the afternoon iPad, I, iPad. It's not an iPhone. So if I click on this, if I click on the sun, I think the hierarchy just changed. See the hierarchy changed. Because she cannot see the, uh, I want the last one here, EDUI, we call it EDUI, open it up. The problem is, this button ca cannot be, active. so I have to go back to my view controller and make sure uh, that's on top. Now I can actually see my button. Yeah. Okay. Now it will work. It's the layer. But layers are not errors, so it didn't say anything about that. It's just a hierarchy of buttons, view, controller, blah, 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 blah. In, in the book, I really do explain all of that. Internal. That red uh, error, it was, uh, I fixed it, but usually it takes about five minutes to fix a red error. I was very lucky. Okay, well, it opened it in an iPhone, but the, we understand the issue. This is the sun, there's the information about the sun, there's the flower, there's the information about the flower. It just chose uh, iPhone instead of, because up here it says iPhone Plus, so I can go up and say I want an iPad, uh, iPad 10 inches, nine inches is better, nine inches. Now when I run it this time, everything will show. Yes. 
yes, 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 yes. I will, I will repeat your question and answer in a minute. So if I click on the sun, what's gonna happen? Information about the sun will come up, right? There we go, the sun is the source of all, whatever, whatever you put in, that's what it's gonna say. What happens if I click on the flower? Yeah, it changes that text into the sun shines on flowers and grows flowers. Well, that's really repetitive, sorry. Who teaches English so that he can tell me? Well, thanks a lot. Okay. All right, so let me stop right here. Let me stop. Let me preview, uh, review what I just said, okay, so that you all have it in your head. In order to make an app for anything, iPad, iPhone, uh, iWatch, whatever, what do you need? You need Xcode, right? Once you download your Xcode, you open your Xcode. Xcode is the environment in which you make your apps, right? You all remember those steps. It has three main areas. Left side are the documents, middle side is your storyboard, the right side is your inspectors for different elements of your apps. In order to bring elements of design into your pad, you look for the library, the image library. In order to put an image on your view, on the main page, you have to have an image view. And you also have to have a source for the image. So in the library, you look for an image view, you drag it onto the storyboard. And also, you have to have a ping file. That is not a JPEG, not, uh, none of those things that you're familiar with. In Photoshop, it has to be a ping file because it's a lot smaller. So you take a ping file, any picture that is ping, and in Photoshop, you can convert any image into ping, drag it into the document area, then click on your image view, go up on the inspector, the very first thing on top is says image. If you click, you will see a list of all your images. Select the one that you want, it just happens to be food chain right now, I select food chain, comes up. Then I need two elements in order to make it interactive. We call it IB action, IB outlet. IB outlet usually is a declaration. IB action is when you do something, it takes action on the declaration. So that I went to the library again, I brought uh, I, uh, a label. That label happens to be IB outlet because it's just text, it's not interactive. Can I make it interactive six months from now? Definitely, but not right now. Then the button, I bring the button. I don't want a button bar, I don't want a button, just the main button, bring it. So far, everything's perfect, but now I need to code. In order to code, I have to have the storyboard with my code page, which is called view controller, on the left side, view controller. They have to be right next to each other. Once they're next to each other, I go to my IB on the label, I click on it, I press control on my keyboard, drag right on the top after the first bracket. It wants to know a name, give it a name, we call it info, everything else is okay, so you say connect. So we have declared I, our ID outlet. Then it's the button, you do the same thing, click on the button, press <laughs> control, drag it way to the last bracket, it says, what is it? You have to say it's an ID action, make sure you do that, you're gonna get an error. ID action, make sure that it has a name, and also make sure that it is touching. Uh, I mean, it can be anything, but touch inside the button. When somebody taps inside the button, and then the area where you have to write the code comes up. In order to write the code, you have to type in your, now becomes manual. What was the name of my uh, RB outlet? It was info, I type in info. What is one of the characteristics of text? Is uh, One of the characteristics of the label is info, uh, text, dot text, this is very important, dot text, space equals space, whatever you put in the quotation mark, it will take action and puts, so when somebody clicks on that button, it will put it in the label. If I had put some music, what would have happened? It would play the music. If I put some movie, it would play some movie, okay? That's it, frankly, that's it, that's all you need to know. Now, if you want to make, make a million dollars, Start reading Xcode, I mean, Swift files. 
And it, the more you learn, remember Anne, when she brought all those uh, apps that sh showed to you? I think I can make those, but it will take me about six months. There's a lot of coding. Those, uh, you know, with your fingers, drawing numbers, drawing this. Those are a little difficult. Then it becomes more and more and more difficult. So right now, I think everybody in this class can write an app, frankly, that's it. Does this, is, that, is, this impo is this good information to everybody? Is everybody enthusiastic about making apps? Yes? yes? Who's gonna make the next one that's gonna make a million dollars? No, no, what you need is an idea because I gave you the tool. I gave you the tool. 